Well, welcome back to the Bumbling Beekeeper channel here at Young Heart Adventures. Yes, and, uh, sir. This is uh, the first one this fall. Isn't yeah, we, we didn't do a video since July the 28th, and today is the first day of fall. Yes, it is. Yeah, so we didn't do a video, and the last time we did a video, we were checking on the flow hive, and we were, um, and we were, they were doing a little bit of work in there, and well, since then we went back like a month later and we ended up taking the flow hive off and putting the feeder on because they weren't making any honey we're pretty much in the in the dark season and so we're just feeding them now the flow hive is in storage and today we're just going to check them in september and see what the heck they're doing in there right yes sir tell, uh, tell them about the hurricane we had a we had hurricane Florence. terrific hurricane here and we were very affected very little yeah uh, had lots Under of rain, rain but uh not too much wind so we were and they just kind of stayed inside and uh, hunkered down but we did see even when it was raining we did see them out flying around a little bit here and there and we uh, secured the beehive here with bricks on the top and uh, tied rope around it here yep. so that uh, it was going around. right so now they're back to normal and we're just going to open it up today on the first day of fall and see what's going on we have going on the front today a little activity so we also had some robbing activity going on a couple weeks ago and we had to put an entrance reducer on so that they had less of an area to uh, defend and that seemed to help. And the robbing is uh, bees from other hives or also or yellow jackets or bumblebees. Look at all the pollen coming in. They're loaded with pollen, Harry. Right I saw three in a row come in with tons of pollen on their legs. Sure. Yeah. So all that yellow stuff coming in is pollen. That's their protein source. They're bringing that in and packing it away. Okay. Wow, yeah. Look at a lot of them. Every one of them has fallen. Look at that. Yeah. How many? Look at that. That's the most we have here. Yeah. That's good. They must have found a good source. Yeah. And they are dragging it in. You want uh, you want this off? Yep, we'll go take that off first. Ooh, they're still coming in with Wow, they are packing that feeder full. Look at that. And they're on the outside too, which is cool. But half a dozen of them in here. You know, Pops, I think maybe we should put that screen over the top to keep them from getting in on the top like this, don't you think? Uh, that screen yeah, thing? Yeah, that's the screen. Uh, okay. In the garage. In, you know, yeah, maybe oh. we'll put that on at the end then. Yeah, I'll go get it right <coughs> now, Mike. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. it's up to you. We well, can get it on uh, when, we, when we put it back together. Okay, let's do that. Okay, you want to take that off? See that black thing? See? Right there. I'm oh, not right. See him? Right there. Yeah. Well, there, my... There's one too. They're huge. I don't know that those are the mites. We'll get the people to... The mites are real tiny. Yeah, well, yeah they're, they're, they're real small. Else. They're little beetles. They're some kind of beetle, I think. Yeah. Let me, let me see. They, they yeah. are visible, but that wouldn't even go on a bee. That's too big. I Where think. is it? Uh... Kind of crawling over them, but let's see. Right there's one. Oh yeah. I don't think that's. So you guys can comment on the video if those are the varroa mites. I think those are something else, but. Yeah, they're not. Okay, pops, you want to pull out one of these frames? Sure, let's do that. How about the end one here? This end one. Yeah. Which well, one? either you can do this one if you want. I'll come around the other way. Okay. You got it. How about try the other end where you can just get under it? There you go. Lift it right up. Perfect. How about on the other side? Anything going on? I see they're, they look shiny like they're putting nectar in there. No honey, but they're putting nectar in there, yeah, I think. At the top, there's a little bit of something to, to on the corner, Mike. What's that? 
I don't know. I think maybe put that one down that we'll have some space then. Put that one on the ground. Boy, a lot of bees. Good population. Up. Could I ask you to stand over here? I want to try to get this on the camera. Sure. Yeah, I have it right over there set. Yeah, thank you. So, there's no honey in there on that one. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing yeah, they're in there. They're doing something. They're waxing them up over here. Looks Maybe. Like. Okay, let me try and get a... Um, good population anyway. Oh, look at this. This is our uh, open frame. I see some good comb there. Look at this. From the last sun. <laughs> I gotta be very gentle pulling this out so it doesn't r ruin it. Look at that nice comb. That was completely empty? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was completely empty. There's yeah. nothing in the comb, but they've got that wax comb built. Yeah, they're all ready. Yep, I'm not going to disturb it. I don't no. want it to break off. No. Do you, uh... Oh, I see some honey on this one right here. Mm -hmm. Not this one, but the next one. Nothing too much going on on that one. Wow, there's a lot on the bottom there. A lot of what more? Bees hanging on oh, off bees. the bottom. Oh, yeah. Ooh. They're all bunched around this one here. I think we've got some honey on this one. Maybe the queen. Well, that queen made some babies. That's heavy. You see the honey up in the corner? Hang on. Is there any on this side? A little bit on this side on the corner, see? Mm -hmm. And then over here on my on the bottom, there's there honey. There's also yeah. brood. You see that right pink color is brood. Yeah. Not uh that's capped. Hold it still a minute. Okay. Here on, on the top too. Yep. So we got honey right. down here in the corner. A little bit, not a oh, wait, let me And along it. the top too. See here along the top? That's all capped honey. Not a whole lot, but something. Is this the hidden corner here? Yep, right here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So well, that's good. That looks different than the other honey, doesn't it? It looks dark. Hmm. That's the little bee leaf. Bee lip. Okay, wow. Look at all that brood still. This is first day of fall, and there's honey on the top, and this thing is packed with brood. Oh, boy, that bottom here. That queen is just, cool. man, I can't it's, believe her. It's making, uh, that queen is busy. She is prolific. We're going to call her Ruby Red. Well, her name is Ruby Red, but... Ruby Red, yeah. Ruby Red that's mm -hmm. prolific. Now, I think this is another open frame here. Let's see what they got going on this one. Watch your finger. Oh my gosh, that one is full, and look at those, are those, I believe those are drone Wow, there's a lot cells. of drones then. I believe. It doesn't make sense for this time of year. Watch that honey, it's hanging over. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I forgot that one. Honey, what is those, what are those raised cells? I hope they're not supersede yourself. No, that's way too many of them. That must be drone. So yeah. you guys can comment in the video what those are. I believe when they raised up like that, they're drone cells, but why would they be making so many drones this time of year? That's my question. So you guys can help us understand that. A little more smoky. Wow. No wonder they want food, Lord. My yeah, God. they had that little bit of honey reserve and yeah. all these bees and all this new bees coming.
Okay, I think we have some honey on this one. It's pretty heavy. No? I see. Okay. Yeah, uh, it could be pollen. Look at the pollen stuffed in those holes. Yeah. See that yellow? Yeah. That's what they're doing with all the pollen. Okay, so I think the top looks pretty good, right? Yeah. They're going to enjoy that food we're going to give them, though. Where is the little bugger? Mm -hmm. Yeah, be careful. I won't put this one back in. This will be the last one. We better not get into the bottom ones, do you think? I don't think we need to, do you? No. That's they're doing good. Yeah, they're doing good. I'm going to look at the bees to see if there's any mites on them. I don't see anything crawling on them. Let's get the mites are real tiny little. But you can see them visibly on there, yeah, those little grow mites. Them. And I don't and see I, anything I, on I them. Honestly, gosh, I haven't seen one. And you can I'm sure you cut your hands with my lines on them. Oh, let's see the drum. Yeah. Oh, this time. Okay, there. Yeah. Focusing. Okay. They're going to be all. Drones don't have any stingers. Me here. So you don't have to worry about them stinging you. How's that? At least that's the theory. So if I get stung, I'll let you know. I'm going to throw this out. They have the real big eyes. See how big their eyes are? Drone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're. Uh, I, uh, we haven't seen the queen, huh? No, nope, she's probably down in the bottom somewhere. Or... So I just want to mush this across, maybe. Oh, look how they're already gone to it. Ooh, watch yeah. you! We're mushing that bee. Oh, Honey, get yeah. He went on there. Take it over there, Mike. That it's stuck on it. There's ants coming up. Yeah, they're gonna smell it too. You won't believe how smart they are. They are so smart. Here for it. They're gonna get stuck in it. I think they're already coming to it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna give them some feed, uh, some sugar water when we finish. So you see that all those bees we had just very little honey. That's why we, and we're pretty much out of vegetation. There's a lot of protein they can bring in. There's a lot of pollen, but there's not any nectar. So we have to feed them sugar water and we're giving them this fondant, which is like basically pure sugar. So we're going to close it back up. We have some fondant on there and we're going to put the feeder back on top and the feeder we're going to have uh, sugar water in there that they can get to. And then we'll just keep feeding them. I'm going to stick these things on the corner of my... Okay. Watch your fingers. Yeah. Do we still need that with the weather getting cooler? Yeah, they like that. They like that, okay. Yeah, they, they really like that. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead. I'll put yeah, the billions of bees. Yeah, I'll put the feeder back on. Sure. Okay. Did Laura want to feed it? Or? Can we get it? Yeah. Watch your fingers now. You don't watch, ooh, watch. They're a whole, all over the... Oh, my gosh. They're all over. Okay, honey, stand back. I'm going to shake them off. Here. Be careful, they're all underneath. Mike, they're everywhere. You got them on? He's got them. I'm going to do this for them. All right, yeah, can we put most of them off here? We're not going to like this anymore if we keep brushing them around. Yeah. There we go. And we can just pour it right through there.
and all of those that we uh, that we knocked off, well, they're making their way back in now. I think it's warped. Come on, girl. Okay, so what did we think today, huh? I think those bees are wonderful and that queen deserves a... Standing ovation? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe a standing ovulation in this ovulation, case. Ovulation, <laughs> that's, there we go. That'll so, work. Okay, we need some advice from our beekeeping friends out there. Um, so we saw a good population. Um, we Millions saw, of bees. We saw a, a lot of brood in there. This is the first day of fall and we're in, we're in North Carolina. Um, we saw them bringing in tons of pollen on their legs, so good protein source. We are feeding them because there's not a whole lot of nectar out there or anything really. Um, but we saw one frame that was loaded with those bubbled up brood, cat brood, which I think are drones, but why would they be making all those drones right here before winter? Just can someone answer, are, are, the they, here, are, are they drone cells and why are they making so many this time? They should be getting rid of the drones this time of year. So maybe if someone can help us with that question and any other advice you might have about our bumbling beekeeping adventures. Yeah, the book says, uh, the two books we... <laughs> yeah. The Beekeeping for Dummies <laughs> book, which that one we use a lot. Yeah. Especially for the dummies. Yeah. yeah, so thanks for watching and until next time, have a great day.